Is then, and, and again, I say, what did, what, did the thing, what did I tell you guys to do? Beginning of class, I said, plot it, right? Everybody can do a rough plot of this point. Really, you can just figure out that this point is in the third quadrant. And if you can figure that out, then you're pretty much good. Because from here, what did we learn in, in chapter 4? Well, you can find that distance. That's r, right? Because that's your x and that's your y. And then you can figure out your theta. So our formula, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, right? Because that's your x coordinate, that's your y coordinate. That's the side, that's that side. Yes? So therefore, we can say negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared of 3 squared. Now again, guys, you could plug in your calculator, take it out. But with all the parentheses and square roots, let's just try to do some mental math. Negative 2 squared is 4. That wasn't that bad. Negative 2 squared, again, is going to be 4. Square root of 3 squared is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. 4 equals 1. OK, so I didn't really need to spend my time plugging everything into my calculator. right? I'm happy you guys have calculators. right? But again, do not, like, do not just like, think, you're, oh, I'm just going to rely on my calculator here. Okay? It's just a lot of time for stuff you guys can do rather easily. So there's my 4. All right, there's my grade directed distance. Now what we need to do is figure out our angle. So again, our formula, we recognize if I have two sides of a triangle and I need to figure out the angle, then I'm going to use tangent of theta equals negative 2 square root of 3 over negative 2. Well, that simplifies to tangent of theta equals the square root of 3. And then remember, you could say tangent of theta equals tangent inverse. And again, you could check your calculator. You'd want to make sure that it's in degree mode. But hopefully, you guys recognize the tangent of what angle gives me square root of 3. Based on the unit circle, that's going to be 60 degrees. Does this coordinate point look like it has an angle of 60 degrees? No. No. So what happened? Yeah, it's the reference angle. Remember, guys, that's 60 degrees. Oh, but that's reflected about the, remember, tangent is restricted, or tangent inverse has that it applies on the restriction. So it's only going to give you this angle. So if that's 60 degrees, then what is the angle of my polar point? 180 plus 60, which is 240. Now, let's play a game again. What if it's a multiple choice question, and that answer is not an answer choice? What could be another possible answer choice? Well, let's do the positive real quick. If it's not 240, it could also be the negative version. Yes? So it could be 4. What would be the negative version? Negative 120, right? Could that be the answer choice? That could have been. Or it would be the negative version. Now, again, what is the negative version? The negative would be the reflection about the origin, which would be up here. So could it be negative 460? Or it could be negative 4, negative 300, right? Because 300 degrees would be that way, negative 4. So again, just remember that negative is that we're just, you know, the, the easy way I'd represent it is just that negative is that reflection about the origin. So when you see the negative, just think reflected about the origin, OK? All right, um, there you go with that. Let's take another five-minute break, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up. Sure.